20, let's go! Man, I really wish I had like some big game board instead of this paper stuff so we could play D&D &D better. Wait, what? Who's there? Hello? Who is there? Oh my goodness, it's the game board. It's bigger than I even expected. All right, so now that we have the game board, look at this thing. We're gonna unbox it today and I'm gonna be sharing you with this. So in future videos, subscribe and hit that bell because we're gonna be playing some D&D and other RPGs using this game board on the channel. Um, definitely shout out to uh, Game Board for sending me one of these for the channel so that way we could definitely check this out, unbox it. Game Board actually gave me a special code for you guys. So if you would like to get your hands on your own Game Board, use code UNBOXINGMATT in order to get 10% off your Game Board order. All right, so let's break into this thing. So uh, this is the Game Board. You can also download the companion app. Yeah, this thing's amazing. You can like put on a um, on the bottom of your figure, you can put it on the Game Board and then it will show you your uh, field of view and your perspective and everything. You can, it's real awesome. I'll show you all that later. Let's just stick with the unboxing for now. Oh, I'm so excited for this. All right, guys, the time has come. We shall break the game board seal. Da -da -da, da -da -da. It is now open. Hold on. It is now open. Dude, I'm so excited for this. Ooh. Oh, I got the beta version. You guys will get the official release version, but you can see right here. Our adventure begins and it says the beta seal right there in the center oh, wow. okay oh is there artwork there's some nice artwork right here hold on oh oh nice let's get this thing out Oh, this is the game board. Okay, here's some instructions. You have been chosen, but the honor is truly ours. Thank you for embarking on this historical adventure as together we launch the next dimension of tabletop gaming. Thank you, game board. Oh, this thing's heavy. Look at that tablet. It has my name on it. I think that that's because it's the, the beta, but it has my name on it. Matt Long 6, let's go. And it, it's USB-C chargeable. Um, you can put an SD card. I think that's to help you put like different D&D &D maps on there and stuff. This does way more than D&D, &D, by the way. You can play card games. You can actually put your hand on it so that way it reveals your cards to only you. So another thing I wanted to show you is that these things right here. Now I only got seven, but I think if you buy it, you get 10, don't quote me on that. You put them on the very bottom of your figure. And then once it's on the bottom of your figure, you'll actually be able to see um, your point of view uh, and your uh, line of sight is what I mean. You'll be able to see your line of sight. It also comes with USB-C type charger. Oh my goodness. Let's set this bad boy up, charge it up and yeah. Let's show you how to set this thing up. Now that we are done unboxing, well, I guess we're not done unboxing yet because we gotta do, uh, gotta peel this real quick. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and charge it. Let me figure out which side the charger's on. The charger's on this side, which makes sense because that's where the logo is. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for it to charge and then we're gonna set it up. By the way guys, if you want to know where I got these dice, check out this video. 
All right, the game board's fully charged. We are ready to turn it on by hitting the little red button, which is located on this side. All right, it's booting on for the first time. Oh, game board needs to be rotated this way. All right, we're gonna go through the setup. All right, sorry about that. I went ahead and moved the camera around. So let's go ahead and set this thing up. So as you can see, the first thing we need to do is select our language. So we're gonna go ahead and select English next. And then please wait, connect to your internet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Success, awesome, we're connected to my internet now. And the next thing you need to do is create a game board account. Now, if you already have one, that's fine. So what you're gonna to have to do is scan the QR code or sign in over here. So I already have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. Hey, there we go. Your name on game board. So I'm gonna rename it to Matt Long Six. So this will be like your username and things like that. Sorry, I had to turn off the light so you guys could see this better, otherwise there was a big glare. You can use HDMI and actually connect to it to, uh, I'm gonna use a capture card, but you can actually use it to connect to your TV as well if you wanted to broadcast what's happening. So let's go ahead and hit submit. All right, how to use your game board. Player drawers are essential to the game board experience. To create a player drawer, tap twice on the edge of the game board screen, and within a second, a new player will show up. So in order to do that, you just click double tap somewhere. You'll see here, this is now someone's player. If you have the companion app, you will scan this and load your character from the companion app into the game right here. So whatever game you're playing, you could log in, keep track of your stats, you can get your achievements, you know, like trophies and achievements in Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, you can keep track of achievements on the game board as well. So that's really cool. And then in order to close your drawers, you just slide down. And then of course, if you want to move the drawer, say this person sitting over there, you could just take it, drag it over there, and now the drawer is over here. All right, cool, let's go ahead and do the next thing, let's play. All right, so here is the app store, so you can see different things. We're gonna go ahead and download demo dice, as well as we're gonna show you one other thing. We're gonna show you a card game real quick. And we'll go ahead and download Texas Hold'em. So, awesome. And if you guys are wanting to play D&D, there are some D&D things here and stuff like that. Let me show you probably the one that I'm gonna be using the most, at least to start with, and we'll see from then on out what we actually do. Okay, and then for D&D, we're gonna download Planner Ally, as well as we're gonna go ahead and also download the Foundry Player Client. Um, and show you how some of the D&D things work here. Oh, quick note about this. So if you ever get stuck in a spot or something, you don't know how to get to the main menu, all you do is slide up to open your drawer and then hit that button right there and it'll take you back to the main menu. Really nice and easy. So let's go ahead and let me show you dice roll. So this is dice roll right here. Um, basically you just roll dice onto it. So I don't have my app out right now in order to show you this, but basically you take your dice from your app and you can actually roll it onto the screen. And I thought that was really cool. Something I wanted to share with you guys. All right, so now let me go ahead and show you a card game and a feature I love about it. Okay guys, so we're playing Texas Hold'em now and I wanted to share with you guys um, how you can hide your cards from other players and stuff. But before we do that, I wanted to show you how to actually add a localized person to play with. So let's say they don't have a companion app, that's totally fine. So what you're gonna do is create a new drawer, then open it, and then they can either scan the QR code or if you tap the QR code, it will become localized play. Nothing will save, but they can play today's game. So let's go ahead and slide that down and let's deal. Boom. Okay, so let's say I'm the dealer right now. All I need to do is put my hand here and then look under here and I can see the cards, but no one else can. So let me show you up close what that actually looks like. Okay, so another feature I wanna share with you guys is the multi-touch feature. So you can see I'm gonna to touch both of these at the same time. 
open up both drawers at the same time. So it's actually pretty cool that you can multi-touch. So you can move your character while someone else is moving their character um, if the game allows it. So that's really cool. So All right, guys. So I've decided to go ahead and show you the rest of the features in a, another video, like how to use these tokens and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna jump on over to my computer and do a little outro. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or ideas on what I should do with this game board. We will be doing a little demo video, and then we plan on bringing out a video for you guys of us actually play d d on the game board itself. Maybe I can show you guys how to make maps on it and stuff for your own d d things. Also, I just want to say thank you guys. Don't forget to use code UNBOXINGMAT and get 10% off your order as the well well as if you want to see where I actually got the dice I was using in this video check out this video but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and for liking and subscribing and as always guys stay safe stay active stay healthy god bless peace Tape off. Uh, no, there's more tape. Hold on. Hold on. One second.